it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to click on the thumbs up or the thumbs down, or you can subscribe and share. Um, yeah, yesterday I did a video, and when I did the video, I had no concept really. This is about the whether or not um, the coronavirus only kills black people. And somebody said to me, one of my subscribers, oh, don't turn it into a race thing. But you know something, I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of the background of these viruses. And that's the truth. I did that video based on what I thought was a commonsensical approach to the situation and why black people might be dying from it. Anyway, today, um, I don't know how I come across the information I come across, but I'm definitely going to put the links below. I mean, sometimes I say I'm going to put the links below and then I don't because there's too many of them. But I've only got three links to share with you today. So I think it's really important that I do share them. So, um, yeah, yesterday I did my video having no knowledge of the genetic preference of SARS only killing East Asians. And the 1980, the 1918 Spanish flu only killing Native Americans and Maoris. Now, I learned that in China, almost 100% of deaths were East Asians. Non-East Asians were not touched. Historically, these viruses have been genetically trained, it would seem, because they, are, they only kill certain people of a certain genetic makeup. So the coronavirus doesn't seem to, well, the coronavirus is deviating a little, but I'm wondering if that is because we've mixed our genes up so much. You know, we've got so many mixed marriages, so many mixed relationships, so, and it's been going on for quite a while. So the 1918 um, virus, well, the 1918 Spanish flu, there may not have been so much mix-up, mix-up. But I think now, because there is, the coronavirus is deviating and killing white people as well as black, as well as East Asian in the larger countries like the US of A and the UK. So um, the only difference, well, that's what I was saying. Historically, these viruses have been genetically trained to, to um, and East Asians around the world were the people dying off. I'm not quite sure how it's changed its um, trajectory from East Asians to Blacks in the UK and, bla and Blacks in the US of A. Um, in Italy, um, I'll also put the link, it mentioned that one white person died of the coronavirus, and that was supposed to be a big deal. He was a 71-year-old retired um, bricklayer. Um, so by them mentioning that, it means that the rest of them must have been people of colour or... Yeah, I would think so. Because if they say one white person or one white Italian, I'm not quite sure if they have Italians of different... Well, they probably do have Italians of different colours, just like we had... British people of different colours, but it's really quite, I don't even know, I'm not going to say interesting, but it is interesting how the virus targets certain genetics and ethnicities. How does it do that? So, but if this information is correct, why would you need to shut down the whole country? Why would white people be um, worried about it? I mean, obviously, a lot of them probably don't know that it's not going to kill them. They might get it and they might get ill from it, but it's not really going to kill them. But there again, apparently, if they've been to a hot country recently, within the last two weeks, they can get it. And maybe if they're of mixed blood somewhere down the line, they might be able to get it because we have seen photographs of white people who they say has died from corona-related, corona, 
coronavirus-related symptoms. We don't know, or probably related to coronavirus, so we don't know emphatically whether or not they died from the coronavirus, or maybe they just assumed that that's what they died of. Because then, if that's the case, it's not going to be consistent with the past, is it? Because if previous viruses have killed certain genetic, the certain ethnicities and certain genetic makeups, what makes this one so different? So now we're hearing in the UK, it's predominantly black people are dying from it, but white people are still dying from it. According to this um, source that I'm giving you, The SARS virus didn't touch blacks, whites, browns, or other yellows, only East Asians. How does it do that? So, um, how did the corona... I've done that. Okay, the SGT report states that there are ethnic and racial patterns of the coronavirus. White Italian Adriano Trevisan, 78, retired bricklayer, is apparently the first acknowledged case of a white person dying from the coronavirus in Italy. So, um, that's what I mean. You know, we don't, we, we haven't been getting, I don't know how it's managed to link out, but we haven't been getting the breakdown of ethnicity and I guess it must be quite embarrassing and uncomfortable and sensitive if the government was telling people look this coronavirus is only killing black people and is only killing East Asians how is that going to look but then I I kind of think why do they need so if this is the case why do they need so many ventilators because you know when you think now I have to go, I'm kind of working my way backwards now. In the UK, the white British and white other represent nearly 90% of the whole UK population. Blacks represent 4%. And Asian, Bangladesh, well, Bangladeshi, Indians and Pakistanis represent, oh, sorry, Blacks represent 2% of the UK population and Bangladesh, Indians and Pakistanis represent 4%. That's in the UK. So if that's... And let me tell you what um, US of A... Where did I put US of A? Okay. In America... Um, white America was 63%, blacks are 12%, and Asians are less than 5%. So if that is the case, why do they need so many ventilators? Because if it's only killing blacks and East Asians, they don't need that amount of ventilators. And in fact, they could actually say, if they wanted to be quite cruel, and cold, listen, this this coronavirus, you, you white people don't have to worry. Maybe that's why Trump doesn't wear a mask. White people don't have to worry because it's not going to kill them. Yes, you might get symptoms. You might get, you know, something like the flu, apparently. But according to the SGT report, it's not going to kill white people. It's only dangerous to black people. Or white people have visited a hot hot zone, whatever hot zone is, I assume that's a hot country. They, the people, white people who visited a hot zone were banned from coming into the USA. Now, by hot zone, I don't know if that means a hot country or a Pacific, or a Pacific country. I don't know what that means. But they were banned from coming, get, 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 get. they were banned from um, going into America. So, what do we have here? I have no idea how you train a virus to kill a certain race of people. Or how that, because that's what it seems to be happening. I'm not saying that somebody's done that, but that's what seems to be happening. This virus 
and previous viruses seem to be trained to only kill certain certain genetic makeup. Like I said, the 1918 Spanish flu killed only Native Americans and Maoris. Frank Salter documents in his book on genetic interest ethnic groups within races such as English, French and Italian form distinct genetic clusters. According to historian Alfred Crosby, all immigrants were more likely to die of Spanish flu, but the mortality rate was far lower among English, Irish and German immigrants than for those from Poland, Russia, Austria, Dash Hungary. It's crazy, isn't it? In response to the question, why do men die of coronavirus more than women? Apparently, they have weaker immune systems. According to the Drudge Report, dated the 15th of February 2020, there were no confirmed cases of the coronavirus killing anyone other than East Asians. If the coronavirus only kills blacks in the UK and USA and East Asians around the rest of the world, why is it necessary for a lockdown? Really, they should be telling black people and East Asians, look, you better be careful because this coronavirus can affect you. It's dangerous to black people. It's dangerous to East Asians. So you people, you had better work from home or stay off of the streets. That's what they that's what the warning should be. I mean, that would be kind. I'm not people I know people would probably say, oh, why is it gonna just kill blacks or why is it just gonna kill East Asians? Yeah, people could say that. But at least the the world wouldn't have to come to a standstill. At least, I mean, if people have can look at their history, can look at the history and see um, what it, the statistics with the SARS and the Spanish flu and can see that those viruses target specific, specific genetics, ethnicities and races, they can say, OK, yeah, what the government is telling us is true. It does only kill certain races. So it's best that we stay in our homes. It's best that we isolate. It's best that we do A, B, C, D and E. And the whole world gets on with their business until this coronavirus passes through. I mean, it's bound to catch some. But at least it would make more sense if, if that is the case, if it's proven, I mean, I don't know if, it, if it's hypothesis. I, I really don't know. But if it's true, the world could continue. The wheels could st still keep moving. And it's, it's only black and East Asians people that need to be concerned about the virus. And then if that was the case, they wouldn't need to distribute so many ventilators or maybe they could distribute more more ventilators but at least if they know it's not going to kill white people yes they might be disabled a little bit they might feel a bit irritable but they might even have ventilators for those with um, pre-existing pre conditions enough for those with pre-existing conditions and those with underlying symptoms underlying problems but if, if the government of the USA and the government of the UK are thinking, oh, we've got to, we've got a pandemic and we need enough ventilators for thousands and thousands as though the whole world, well, the whole of America and the whole UK are going to be dying of this virus, then that's a different matter, isn't it? It could actually be strategically organised. The only thing, though, is that with the UK, the trend has kind of changed because we are seeing, well, we haven't really, we've only had a recent breakdown um, with the blacks, but we still don't know what the other ethnicities are. We don't know if it's just strictly blacks and strictly whites 
or if there were some Asians in there, East Asians in there, or how many whites have died from it. We don't know. We know Boris is on the mend, and he was he really had it bad. But he's on the mend. He hasn't killed him. But if that's a black person in that position, they're gone. Knowledge is power. So, I, I don't know. I'm just sharing this information that I found, and I think it's useful, and it might make sense to a lot of people. So, um, what else have I got here? Okay, apparently this is not a virus where ordinarily white people die. However, if a white person has been in a hot zone within the last two weeks, they will be denied access to the USA. And I don't understand why that would be. There must be something. But then England is cold ordinarily. It's getting a bit warmer now. But why would they be denied if they've just come back from a hot zone, which is, I assume it's a place with hot weather. And this is something about that hot zone that will attract the virus. It's a bit too technical for me. No, it's not even technical. It's a bit complex, isn't it? So uh, the coronavirus is deadly to East Asians in specifically. And blacks we've noticed in um, America and the UK. And I don't know about Italy's genetics. I did try to find out. But when I heard that only one person, one white person died in Italy, that more or less answered my question. So what I don't understand, I don't understand how it targets just East Asians in China. How does it do that? And then it switches when it comes to the UK and then targets blacks and the USA. Really, really weird. SARS apparently only killed East Asians, which I mentioned before. 98.4% of all coronavirus deaths around the world are ethnic Chinese. 98.4%. Well, I think the UK and USA, they're going to change those statistics. Technically, according to those statistics, black people shouldn't be concerned or too concerned. So why are we concerned here in the UK? Why is it in the UK? Blacks are dying over whites. There has to be something I don't know what it is in the genetic makeup that's attracting this bloody bug. So according to the Daily Coin on 4th of March 2020, it states that almost 100% of all coronavirus deaths around the world are ethnic Chinese. With SARS, it was 96%. So if, as the sources say, it only kills blacks in these stations, why do we need so much? I've already said that. In the UK, white British and others represent nearly 9% of the population. I've already said that. So technically, if you were with the test, you'd only need to test blacks in these stations. And um, you wouldn't even need so much tests, would you? But the problem is, is it that simple? Whose hypothesis is this? Is it based on fat facts or is it based on theory? I haven't got a clue. The Daily Coin asks, why almost no whites, blacks, browns, reds and other yellows? Why didn't they die? I put here, America does claim it was originally white. And so does the UK. Does the coronavirus do the job of making these two countries white again? That's me being facetious. I guess we'll never know. 
Oh boy, I tell ya.